So today, musky Hans caught a species of fish he's been wanting to catch for a long time. I've moved, if I haven't told you, but I'm living in Nebraska now. And I went out fishing yesterday, and I actually caught a whole bunch of fish. I caught, like, 20 bluegills of crappie in this shiner. And I've always wanted to do a catch and cook on the golden shiner. And I think we're just going to try cooking with the conventional way you cook fish and filleting it and see how it turns out. I should have been keeping all the carp that I've been catching, I was spearing, because then I could survive the coronavirus. Ooh, just eating some really random stuff, or is that it's eggs? It's not, it's pretty firm. Probably should be keeping this in just cutting it up for catfish bait. My one friend asked me what I'm doing with this shine and why I kept it. And this is why I kept it. I'm a crazy nut, I know. I see their scales getting everywhere. That doesn't surprise me. This is one of my like, perfect size to go on the musky lake by me and fish with. Like eight inches. Here's one fillet. Holy crap, there's really a lot of scales from that. This skin definitely does not stay together very well. It doesn't stay together like the blue that I've been cleaning. This is also a $2.99 great value fillet knife. I might as well do a review on this. This will be my next review. I just bought it today because I don't know where my other fillet knife went. There's definitely a large... So I'm going to put some things in on it. I'm not going to use egg wash because egg eggs are a premium these days. When I was in Walmart the other day, I seen someone buying like 15 dozen eggs. You put a little salt. I still need to invest in a salt shaker and some pepper. Then I have some breadcrumbs. I think they're great value brand, but I could be wrong. I always buy cheap crap if you don't know. Then we take one and bat batter it. We better be connected to the battery. And then here's another one. Frying away. These are cooking. They look about done, I would say. That is some good looking shiner. We don't even have any paper towel to soak up the grease. That sucks. So there's my shiner fillet. Nice and crispy. That turned out really nice. So time to try it. It's boring. Too nice for calcium. It's a little stronger flavor than bluegill, but it's definitely edible. There's a lot of bones in it. It's kind of just all broken down, so it's edible, but it's definitely not the greatest fish in the world. I don't have a kitty to approve it, unfortunately. That'll be it for this short catch and cook. Unfortunately, I didn't have the catch on camera, so.